and she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so I had some topics that I was supposed to cover and y'all hold on one second. Let me go look at my notes because I forgot the topic. So one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I remember it now. How do you get to the point where a man wants to introduce you to his family? How do you get him to introduce you to his family when he hasn't mentioned it? Or if you just want to meet them? Um, <clears throat> okay, I don't know how old y'all are. It depends on your age. If y'all if y'all are still young, like in your 20s, um, a lot of guys in their 20s are not really going to introduce who they're dating. Now, if y'all are exclusive, if y'all are girlfriend and boyfriend, he probably will introduce you but if y'all are just dating and y'all haven't you know said the, you know i'm your girlfriend you're my boyfriend then it's probably not going to happen unless it's by accident or he's one of those people that bring home girls all the time and it's no big deal because guys don't bring home uh women to meet their parents unless they're serious about them okay so if you're a girlfriend and you've been dating somebody for a long time and if their parents probably won't approve you they're not going to introduce you to them um and they might be serious about you but they know that their parents won't approve you so they'll try to avoid the subject now i'm going to tell you like if you know that their parents would approve of you and they just don't want to introduce you to them here are some techniques you can kind of do to help hurry it along if you like want to meet their parents because sometimes it's not you, it's their parents. Sometimes they're embarrassed of their own parents and they don't want you to see their parents. And a lot of times women are like, oh, he doesn't want me to be his mom because he doesn't think I'm good enough. And then sometimes it's the other way around, y'all. Sometimes they don't want you to meet their parents for a certain reason, okay? They might be alcoholics. They might be severely overweight. They might, you know, be... Um, crazy they might act strange they might have a, a crazy house they might be a hoarder you don't know the reason so to to get emotionally upset about not being able to meet the parents it's kind of strange because you don't know why he hasn't introduced you to them yet so you need to get more information out of him like start talking about his childhood start asking him uh about his family you know and once he opens up to you, you know, he'll start telling his stories, he'll start mentioning things, and you'll kind of get a clue as to why he probably has not introduced you yet or if there's something wrong on the family side, okay? Because, like, I, um, I didn't meet my, my husband's family until last year, y'all, and we've been married forever why there was a lot of complications during that i thought it was me for the longest time and it wasn't me at all it was them um he grew up in the country y'all the country 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 and i think he was embarrassed of the way that they were or something like that because he thought i was like all this and all that and you know snooty and you know you know but I wasn't, he just, you know, he didn't think that I would approve of his family. So after years, after we had kids, then he felt comfortable enough to invite them over. And also, I don't know if they had some issues as well, like, you know, because he's very successful and I don't know if they like, always used to ask him for money, I'm not sure. I didn't, I, like, of course he's not gonna tell me because of his private family business. And who wants to talk about their own mama, right? <clears throat> so, I finally met them last year. They met our kids. And sometimes it's not you. It's them. It's the family that they don't want you to witness. So, and if it's not the family and you know that they're decent people and that there's nothing to be embarrassed about, then you need to introduce him to your parents. And before you arrive to meet your parents, you need to tell your parents to kind of help you out in this department and tell them, hey, ask about his mom, ask about his dad, ask when they're gonna introduce me, uh, ask maybe we can all get together for dinner one night as a whole, like like put all your two cents in and make, make it seem like that he's lacking and falling behind and he's not 
being a gentleman by not introducing me just y'all know how moms do or dads do they like they talk too much and it's not really inappropriate because you're in their house anyway so um help have your mom help you out okay for example uh you bring your guy over to meet your parents or your mom and she says oh how are you da da da, -da. oh okay my name is da da da, -da. so um yeah, so meeting the family, huh? A big step, huh? Have you introduced her to your family yet? You know, you know, moms will just say stuff. Oh, okay, well, maybe next week. Um, and uh, maybe then we can all get together and, you know, have dinner. Um, you know, and I would really like to meet your, your folks, too. You know, if, if they put it out there like that, it's like... That was my computer, y'all. So if they put it out there like that, he'll be more pressured to introduce you because now he wants to impress your mom and if he doesn't do that then you're gonna go back and tell your mom that he's she's not gonna like him as much and then he loses points you know if he's really wanting to be with you okay so and then you can use it as an excuse well you met my parents I'm ready to meet yours what, what's wrong with me you know is it your and then like you can play the reverse psychology role too it's like well is it your family are you embarrassed or something you know I don't care about any of that um, you know, we can do Skype, we can meet on Skype, whatever, whatever you need to do. I just want, I just need to know that you take me seriously enough to introduce me to your family. Otherwise, you know, you know, it's just going to be something that I'm always going to be thinking about in the back of my head, um, and might resent you for it, you know, so make sure you put that in there. <laughs> And if that never, if that doesn't work, and you're down to your last straw, and he wants to get intimate, you hold back, and he's like, you know what? I don't, you know, I don't even think we should be doing certain things anymore. I mean, I'm not good enough to be your family, so you know, I'm, I just, I'm not in the mood right now. I just don't feel it right now. I'm sorry. I'm kind of bummed out because, you know, play, play the victim role, y'all. <laughs> so until he introduces you to his family. You know, cut them off sexually if if you have to take that step in order to meet the parents. You know, it's very, and believe me, that will work. He will either introduce you to them or break up. Okay, that's, that's going to work. <laughs> and, like, don't always, like, aim for the family, like, the, the main family first. Go for, like, the cousins and the brothers. And after you meet the cousins, the brothers, and the sisters, then gradually go to the mom and the dad. So if he's introducing you to his cousins and his brothers and his sisters, that's cool. Uh, when he finally introduces you to his mother, it's after they give their approval of you as siblings. So you'll kind of have to wait on that type of stuff. <clears throat> I know it's crazy and it's rules and all this stuff, but you got to play the game, y'all. You got to play the game. Okay, so a lot of people have been saying, okay, well, you making all these videos about this, this, and that, and how you should hold out for the many... Me and your dreams are means that can take care of you or, you know, blah, 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 blah. And you haven't showed us any proof that you have any of this. So today I'm going to show y'all some proof, y'all. Okay, people have been asking me for pictures. So basically, my friend took these pictures. This is our wedding. That's me and my husband. And we were married on a yacht. Um... <coughs> gosh yeah 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 that's me and my friend y'all she's from Bangladesh she's the one that took these pictures and she, they did not have HD back then okay this is old this is a long time ago okay <laughs> didn't have HD y'all if they did we didn't have it on our phones I mean on our cameras okay so this is me and my husband in Mexico on a cruise and this is this is us on the beach and this is us in the cab ride from the airport to the ho to the resort um so yeah we just you know we've traveled we've done a lot of fun stuff You've gone out to eat. <laughs> yeah. Eating scrimp. Um, 
So yeah, yeah, I mean, that's our feet in the in the water. See how clear it is. <sighs> oh, okay. This is when. Um, this is when I was. Yeah, so we were at the beach. I was pregnant here, y'all, and that's him. And y'all go laugh, but he brings he brought a briefcase to the beach, y'all. That's how serious he is about his business, y'all. Business. Business. Okay? Get you a business man. Uh, y'all might, y'all, he might bring a briefcase to the beach. But believe me, if he's always working, then that's, that's uh, when I was pregnant. He's reading a book. If he's always working, that's a good sign for you, right? Uh, he brings his work to the beach, that's a good sign for you. Because at least y'all are out and having fun. And he's still making his money. Okay. <laughs> this is my mom, y'all. Y'all want to see my mom. This is my mommy. She was uh, a little tipsy there. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And this was my dress. Isn't that cute? I have, a, I have my wedding album, too. But I don't want to like get it out. It's like a little mini one. Let's see if I can just show y'all. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This is my wedding album. And let's see if I can get a decent picture. Okay. Here's some. So I thought I would share this with y'all. Um, this just, we got married on a boat, on a yacht. This is the yacht that we got married on. Kind of hard doing like show and tell, but yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> oh, and at our reception, it was on the deck of the yacht when he's taking off the garter. We had DJ and everything, they actually we had made our own wedding CD, and so the garter song to take off the garter was Gold Digger by Kanye West. <laughs> so we played that, it was hilarious. Because you know what? A lot of people will try to give you labels and names and, oh, you only marry it for this reason and that reason. And they'll try to make you feel bad for your choices and what you want out of life. And if you listen to those people and, and let them make you feel bad for having higher standards, then, you know, it's only because they know they can't get it, okay? They, it's only because they've been brainwashed to tell themselves that they don't deserve that. Every woman deserves that, okay, y'all? Every woman deserves their uh, knight in shining armor. Every woman deserves that. Uh, people have made it so bad now that they brainwash women into thinking that they don't deserve it. And they're supposed to be a hard worker for the rest of their lives and take whatever is given to them. But it's just not true, y'all. It's just not true. When you make your mind up here, the rest follows, okay? If you've made your mind up here, you don't deserve such things and that... Um, you have to work hard to earn your living for the rest of your life and you have to struggle and that you have to pay 50% uh, of everything living with a grown man. Um, if you made it up in your mind here, that's what you want to do, then that's what you're going to do. I mean, women can contribute here and there. They can do a little work on the side. They can do part-time jobs. They can come in the relationship having things already. But to have to, have to you know, be a slave to society to have to go out there and bust your butt to come home and struggle with a grown person who's supposed to be your provider and protector is a, very much of a turnoff and a lot of men wonder why women are never in the mood when they're just not feeling it anymore they're not no longer attracted to them and it's you know it's it's mental you know women aren't built to go out and work hard like a man. Our bodies aren't built to go out, work hard like a man, hustle like a man. Our bodies aren't built for that. Our bodies are for nurturing, pleasures, childbirth, you know, um, being feminine and soft. It's not created to go out and do what a man is supposed to do. If it were, we would look just like them. We wouldn't have boobs. We wouldn't have curves. We wouldn't be smaller in stature and you know 
we would be able to do the exact lift the exact same weight we would be able to have the, the upper body strength that is needed to actually put in work we would have to have a more logical mind to solve certain issues um, according to certain types of work we would have to be less emotional to deal with certain stresses out there and we're just not built that way and that is science that is human nature and to force us into that is brainwashing okay so i'll see y'all later bye